está buena esa. My brother, how you doing now? I can see you there. Well, now I'll do well. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Happy Sunday, everybody. Uh, good morning and good afternoon, good night to those who are going to bed and some uh, just waking up, you know. How now, Dean? Say again, not tell me. Abota. Wahia Wesi. Good evening. Uh, I beg, make we talk about this uh, billionaire. When he threw away his first wife outside. I uh, see some things about that uh, billionaire today. I look and I laugh. Yeah, I see a few confusion around uh, marriages. Where the way some people they com uh, commit for for the situation. So I just feel, say a good make I say something to give those who don't know better understanding. Good evening, hello. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. I see you now. And I about that billionaire for Nigeria when he carrying first wife to wear outside. Mm -hmm. Me, I don't want to wait to happen for that marriage. I don't want to know because the man don't already marry second wife. And the second wife they don't enter house before Madame and Oga Kwata. You want to shock me inside now, the fact that marriage where you don't hold like that now, court the country now. And then they even uh, beg the man to provide accommodation. That's a, a big shame. No matter what may have transpired in that marriage, it has produced six grown up children. And the man, Nabilonia, from what we hear. And even if the woman are witch, you not kill her all these years. Even if now Ashawo, though they do the Ashawo all these years, you not catch until now. The woman deserve to get something significant for in 40 years service under that man. If now abroad, now the man go pack load come up for house. Not be all this kitty 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 but I think the government should actually look at our own uh system because it's quite unfair to wives and especially for that kind of old age. The woman is now more mature. The man don't get new model. So I want to talk small about that. Some people they call a new wife uh side chick. And I saw that write up on rant where they say how you go call second wife. Side chick. She's not side chick. I I re, I follow the story to an extent where I hear say the man pay bright price, traditional bright price on his first wife, and the same traditional bright price now he pay on the second one, because the our culture permits for a man to have more than one. If waiting you do in a traditional marriage, you go uh, they can put bright price for your head, which is our own. Leg legitimate marriage in Nigeria, they pay your bride price. That na proper marriage. However, the however when they inside be say he give the man right to marry more, because our culture permits more wife. Madame day house when Oga married that woman, so she not be side chick. She not be the one where they do for on top of office table, or for for hotel room. Now in wife for house because there are so many family pictures coming on the internet when they take together with all the children. So it's an established polygamous family. So waiting me I not fully understand we say waiting happen between Madame and Oga. That will not be our own problem. That will not concern us. Because we've not been given that information. We not even need to go into it. All the years when Madame take day with Oga, if she not do any business, you see, this is why sometimes some of these women who they build house and Oga not they know. This is you you go constantly say now nah, this one be the reason why they do that in a security. If the woman has been honest, she's been with him, she has not done any business, she has no money of her own, she know it's only fair for that man to provide that woman with accommodation. I'll take you back into the Western law. Many years ago, when I first came to England, there was a very prominent um, uh, divorce case in America between Donald Trump and his first wife. They get children together. 
Me, I never see 150 couple before them. Now, I hear say Donald Trump want divorce his wife. His wife can talk, say, though he be full time housewife, she was taking care of the family. She spent time taking care of the family. And I think in the end, the court grant made the woman get it by $150 million. For here, then they consider time when wife they house, they cook soup, they clean, they take children to school and back as a working time. And that woman deserve to get a significant percentage of the man's wealth if you decide say you don't want to marry anymore. That no that provision of the Nigerian law, and I think the government, the so called send, uh, House of Assembly, where we get, should be looking at providing for a wife within the man's earnings or means. Because some men na millionaire, some not be millionaire, some na one room a day. Even if na the pot and pan, I will want share. It could make the woman get somewhere it could be in. So you not know, go start from scratch and have nothing. For here, if man and woman want separate. And they are children who are still under uh, adult age, who are not up to adult age, say around 15, 16. No matter if now only that house on I get, now the man will come out, now the woman will keep the house. If the woman choose to keep the children, except where the man choose to be, to, to get the parental custody of the children, then they will leave that house for the man, or else. If the man choose to say, he want, he, nah, he, nah, he not want the relationship anymore, he not go fit care for the children, the woman take the responsibility, he go carry the house. Nigeria never reached that level. But Oga Bilonia, I come back to you. Oga Bilonia, shame on you. Because as wealthy as you are, no matter what may have transpired between you and first madam, no matter what she may have done, even if now one flat, daddy, please go and build for her. Because she's the mother of your most senior children. She deserves to be in a secure place. Not be at this age, after all the years when you don't, maybe now for when she be virgin, now you begin to hear. And now she don't old. She's not really appealing to many men anymore. Now, now you want to leave her for street. No matter what in that woman do, you are a very wicked man. Go and get him. Get her her own house. What is fair is fair. Is that the man is extremely wicked. Yes, he is a wicked man. He is a very nasty man. But let me tell you one thing. I have come to realize that myself. That when men, have, when men no longer want you, they make everything very difficult for you. I don't know about, because I'm a woman. I don't know about other women. I've never made things difficult for any man in my life but if what i have come to realize is when men don't want you anymore they will begin to throw fire for your line they will begin to throw you axe throw you everything but okay you don't want the woman anymore it's not going to change the fact that you have six children the only thing that's going to ch change that uh, uh, story is if you just decide today to kill all the children and grandchildren and if you're not ready to do that, if you don't want your children to see you as vile, because you're getting older, you're not getting younger, and the time is going to come, no matter how wealthy you are, you're going to need your children's attention. Better repair that ground now. If you throw their mother down the bridge, no matter what that woman may have done to you, or God be you will go suffer. Now me the talker, when we born our children, they begin to grow. As we are going up the ladder, when we get to, there is a a peak we come to, we begin to come down, our children begin to go up. And that is the level you have come to. If you are truly a billionaire, how would you feel for somebody to see your wife destitute on the street? You are a very wicked man. It should not be the court telling you. The lifestyle you have provided for that woman, if not abroad, the lifestyle when that woman don't live, then they will take, calculate the early money when you go to give her. Because she's lived that life, you're not going to suddenly, if you take it from her, it's going to emotionally impact neg ne negatively on that woman. So court will consider the fact that that woman don't live for house where house made day, that woman don't drive car, that woman don't eat uh, 
don't eat any part of cow when you're hungry or, or chicken. They're not gonna say now nah, because it's not day with you. Make it begin take okoroko chop. Or make it begin take a pomo chop. They have to look at or no matter what it happen or they have to look at the lifestyle you live with that woman and how it go affect her if you withdraw it. Oga, give her her own house and get substantial amount to give the mother of your eldest children. She may not be appealing to you again in bed because you don't hold. And you now, because you get money, you are still appealing to a younger model. You have, you already have a substitute. Oga, you are wrong. The courts may have found her, um, may have found it uh, right to divorce you. But if you leave that woman after 40 years or almost 40 years of marriage without a house of her own, you are a very wicked man. And your, your later days shall be very bitter. Honestly, 40 years now, na, na full, he worked past civil service. You don't pass civil service time for Nigeria. You don't work, you don't work, work, work past the time where government, they give people to take, serve government for Nigeria. So she deserves a pension. Oga, okay? go give her in your house. And a house that meets her status. And tell her how you go maintain her to the very end. Because those billions you made is by that woman's grace. Some women go marry you. You're already succeeding. I don't see situations where man don't get in your own business doing where go marry woman. Under 10 years, it will be down to nothing. You are who you are because that woman was by your side. If you leave her without anything, the judgment of God is going to come very fast and you're not going to like it. Or God give her her own house. Give her money to start her own business or to run her own family. In my life, I believe in fairness. What is fair has to be fair. And I think you are not being fair. Now you make me they do this video this evening. I they beg you. I am not forcing you. I am begging you, sir. You have six children who love you. As much as they love their mother. They are not going to love their mother less. No. No, Nigerian. He's a Nigerian, my dear sister. And no matter what may have happened, even if now house boy, they sleep with him. They are, the children will eventually come around to loving her again, just like they did, because she will always be their mother. So for your own children's sake, for your own sake, provide for that woman her own home. It's only fair. And let her know how much out of your billions will be her own, where you will take maintain until her last days. You don't want to marry her anymore. That is fine. But you have to provide for that woman because you owe her, whether you like it or not. Nigerian men have not come to that point where they need to understand that when woman marry you, you owe her big time. Especially when you have children together. Even where you don't have children, Oibo will tell you the time when he spend with you. Some women will marry you. They're not, they're not even born, they're not even born blood. You not born anything, not born water for you. For here. The man wants to separate from you, you go pay him. If now the woman get money pass, the man wants to separate from you, the woman go pay. You have to, you have to provide. There, there are instances of women, like all these uh, celebrity you see, all these uh, Madonna and the others, when they are richer than the men they marry, when they divorce, now the other, uh, now the table they turn the other way, the man will take a chunk of the money. Because you don't go feel go back to your old lifestyle. You don't give her a lifestyle where they used to. It will only be unfair for you to say the person will go begin live like papa. So, Oga, but that court, if God not fit tell you, say you owe madam money, me, I did tell you honestly this evening. That, and I hope you get to see this video or some of your staff get to see and make show you that you owe madam some significant amount. First, Set her up in a way that she will get uh, standing order every month going to her account to feed her, to close her, because you owe it to her. You marry her, whether traditionally or uh, legitimately in the registry. You owe that woman something. And that is what you should give to her. 
If na ten thousand you they give him every month as a maintenance in your house, that has to continue, Oga. You can't say because she's no longer your wife, you don't owe her. Stop throwing women to the bin the moment you don't need them. Or else na Asha will you marry, you they pay only when you they use her. If she's really the mother of your children and you love her, and, and there was a time you shared things together, I'm sure some of your uh, secrets you had told this woman, she stood by you. You are rich today, you don't go marry a younger model. That one see money before you enter. Madam, not see any money, even if it's in a small money. Now you are a billionaire. And then they beg you. You know the shame? Then they beg you to provide for Madam. You the Chris? I'm going to go give her a house, John. Make you give her money every month for maintenance. You know what time? Person, no one, you don't want to sleep with her anymore. That's no big deal. There are so many young men that can do that on your behalf. But now money we need and the house. Please. Now that's why I say make I talk this evening, my people. When I hear me. Because children they inside. And the children when they they are all adult children. But if you frustrate their mother, you you're directly or indirectly frustrating your children. If you want that joy to continue, no matter what she may have done, she may have she may have really hurt you. I am not I'm not looking at that aspect of things because as human beings, people are very funny. She may have deeply hurt you. You can be the bigger person by providing her that accommodation and giving her money on, on uh, you know, monthly. You don't even have to see her. All you have to do is just put a standing order with the bank and say, look, to this account, I want you to give her 200000 every month. And she, Madam is sorted. She does not have to see you anymore. If you children want marry, maybe not there, not go they meet. Ah, daddy, how now? Nah, how you there, everybody? But you have to make sure you sort her out. Nigeria, we need to look at situations of women in Nigeria. She needs to be sorted. She does not need to go begging. She was your wife. And I'm sure you at one point you have said, you don't need to work. I earn enough money. If you earn enough money, that money is for the two of you. Why are you chucking her out without giving her a share of it? A share of that money? Why? Even for here, when he's just a boyfriend, he is living with you in the same house. You have children together. Or without children sometimes. You live in and another man get the house. If now decide to split, it go hard before court go take that house, give that man. If they are young children. Because they will tell you you are destabilizing the life of those children. Uh, 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 daddy, go give her house, Joe. Thank you, they give her money. You are you are bigger than this. Your name shouldn't be in the newspaper. Eh? Which kind which kind of nonsense be this? I beg. Make una carry all these things for some, come up for somebody's face. Oh. Now this one me they talk. That is why they say I talk too much. I have to say it as it is. She deserves to have some money from you every month. She deserves to have her own house. And please don't go and buy her house in Ajegunle. Remember, that woman lived in Banana Island. So she deserves a lucky, a lucky house. Maybe buy her one of those houses, you know, like those are our fine houses. 150 million. You can afford it. It's just with the snap of a finger. Make her comfortable. Give her the kind of car she deserves. Uh uh, waiting. I better go. God make you carry that story come up on my face. So I de vex. Una I do well as I take listen. Mo I begin contribute. Mo na they help me share these videos. Because Nigerians will be learning. We need to learn. Things need to change. If you not happen, if you not happen to you, if it happen to your sister, if it happen to your auntie, if it happen to your mom, we've got to fight this uh, battle. Sometimes some of the things I talk about is about the men. And if it happened to your brother or even to you, why not they share this video, make people they learn. And I hope uh, Pastor Chris don't give back that house to the owner because I'm still watching space. Now that one, I say make a quick tell you now as I just enter house this evening, and I do wear my brothers and my sisters. God bless you, Nigerians. And I all do wear. I hope uh, our daddy see this video, make you know, say people like me, we don't begin, we don't begin to take touch like they look that story. I better make you give madame in your house. Hmm. Madam deserves to get in your house. I don't care what thing happen. Make you give Madam her own house. She has lived that life. She has to keep living it. He cannot strip her of everything. Hello, my sweetheart, my darling. Adra, how are you, sweetheart? I love you, you know. She cannot continue to live in abject poverty. You, once you marry, like uh, somebody, he is not the first to be rich in Nigeria. That has divorced his wife. Igminadion divorced his first wife and she's happy. Ah, forget Igminadion. Don't even use that one as an example. Forget that thing. 
Make we talk about better people when divorce. divorced. Gwene don't ever get any serious wife. He's, uh, he's always just picked women and got them pregnant and buy them. I better forget that thing. I'm talking about somebody who was seriously married. He was married. Don't compare him to a Gwene Dion. So, um, I've forgotten what I was going to say now. When you bring in people who are just not, I just get confused. <laughs> You only tap your way and those get me. I better I leave that thing. Those of us where you don't know. So Oga needs to take care of madam. So madam not go stress in your children out. Mm. You need to take care of madam. Make you go give madam house. Hmm? Uh, uh, you know what? You it's easy for you to say, make we forget. This full time housewife, uh, my sister. The reality of things we say these days, you get house girl, house girl begin abuse your children. Maybe physically, you carry your baby, give house girl, you run, go work before you come back. You know, some babies are young. Waiting, picking, get, go through. You know, they feed quick talk out, you don't begin the they both small. You get house boy, you do the wrong thing. You give them to nanny, another thing. Some men, out of the love of the children, they make their wives full-time housewife. But one thing I must say in this program is when you are, because of the way Nigeria is with the, the uh, insecure system where we get, I go advise say when Oga make you full-time housewife, ensure there is an arrangement in place for you to get regular income coming into your account. That account goes straight into your savings. But in a situation like this, honestly, mm -hmm. if a man and a woman have been together for upwards of about three, five years, the man, the woman deserves to, to get something, you know, from that man, from whatever that man has. Two of them go split them, especially where there are children involved. You know, I'm not saying these children are dependent children. They are adults now. I feel like I say most of them don't be parents even. But it's not really nice that the man is just chucking this woman out on the street. He, he's, he's acting like he's God. He's not. He should give that woman her own house. Because he wouldn't be where he is today without the support of that woman. Let me talk her. We are who we are by who we are with. You see some men not doing well could be the woman he's with. You go marry another person's wife just because you're desperate or you go marry another person's husband just because you are desperate, you be, your destiny begins to pull down the other person's destiny. You are where you are because you have chosen to go there. And now when you deal with this woman, everything is alright. You now get six healthy children. You get good business going. You never ever get any stress. I don't see why you could just chuck them out. The houses when they build together, the cars when they buy together, the account when they get. Nigerian men, as much as you say you take care of your wife sometimes, you should be generous enough to sit down and say, look, I don't want this marriage anymore. I don't think you're, you're, good, enough to we are, you're good enough to continue to be my wife. But here is my worth. I'm worth 10,000 naira. And because we are splitting, I've decided to give you four. I'll take 60% and you take 40%. And I will continue to maintain the children and maintain. You know, you can do something like that. This is just to help you start your own life. You don't just chuck a woman out like a piece of rag now. It's not fair. Mona, help me tell that daddy. Make it sort out mommy quick, quick. Ah, waiting. If you don't want wife anymore because she's no longer, you know, sexy looking, make it sort her out. Now it's silly wife. Till she dies, she's not going to change her name. She's still going to be his missus. The more reason why she must not be destitute. Or as people go to the point, go see her. Now Mrs. Uh, uh, Bilonia before, see her now under bridge they sleep. I beg you, go buy a house for your, 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 your wife, Joe. If you give her a nice car, give her... Now your ex-wife. She's not going to have that direct contact with you anymore. She's not going to come and say, oh, I just saw a, a Louis Vuitton, uh, Vuitton uh, bag on the high street. They say 39000 give me money. You're not there anymore. But at least the... The monthly uh, direct debit for her to eat, pay her bills and keep body and soul together. This is a woman maybe has never worked all the time she's been with you. She's not going to be able to get a job now. You should be considering all this. Are you a wicked man? No, I'll do well, Joe. I beg, make her go, make her go find some small Gary drink. No, I'll do well, Asuna. Listen, I love you or thank you so much for joining me. Because some Nigerian men too wicked. 
Uh-uh. What be all this? Court will come they tell you, make you give a house, packing things out of ba Banana Island. That house is not really yours. You people think because you just write your name on the deed, until one Nigerian woman go drag you, go court, take all the property. Eh? It's an act of wickedness. That's why I talk him. And I stand by my story. Una I do well, Ujari. Thank you for listening. They could not go take care of Una Seth. I don't talk finish. I love you all. God bless. Good evening. Bye.